Rawr. Hey guys, so today's Tottenham Preschool PE lesson, we're going to be learning about dinosaurs, okay? Alright, and there's going to be four different dinosaurs that we're going to learn today, okay? And we need to also learn the actions of them dinosaurs, okay? But first, I want you to shout at the TV or wherever you're watching this film, okay, this uh, video, and I want you to shout out some dinosaurs that you know, okay? So who can tell me what dinosaurs you know? Yeah, that's a good one. Yeah, yeah, we're going to do that one. Yeah, yeah, perfect. And stop there. Perfect. Right, so some of you have said some of the dinosaurs that we're going to be doing today, which is brilliant. Okay, so let's get started then. So I'm going to show you the four dinosaurs we're going to be today. So who can tell me, first of all, what dinosaur do you think that is? Yeah, that's right. It's a T-Rex, a trans... Uh, T Rex, yeah, Tyrannosaurus Rex, okay, all right, T Rex for sure, okay, so that's our first dinosaur. Our right, second dinosaur we have, what's that one? Who can tell me? It's a tricky one, okay, right, this is called a Triceratops. Now, if you look, okay, at the horns, it's got a small one and then two big ones, okay. And the word try means three, okay? So we have three horns. One, two, three, okay? So that's called the Triceratops, okay? All right? The next dinosaur is my favorite dinosaur, okay? And that is this one, which is called a pterodactyl, okay? All right? This is like a bird flying through the sky, but a big bird, okay? All right? So the pterodactyl there. And this one, the picture doesn't really uh, demonstrate how long its tail is, but this is called a Brontosaurus. Okay, all right. Now, Brontosauruses have really tiny, stumpy legs and a long tail. This tail is not very long, but they normally have a really long tail, okay, all right. And they ha also have a long neck, okay, all right. So... They are our four dinosaurs, okay, guys? So what's going to happen is this. We are going to practice each dinosaur doing the actions and the sounds, okay? All right, and I'm pretty sure you'll be pretty good at this. So what we're going to do, we're going to do the one that everybody knows, which is a T-Rex, okay, all right? So what we're going to do is this. We're going to stand up, okay? Now, for our T-Rex, you're going to have, like, bunny rabbit arms, because they have small hands, okay, if you can see. Small hands there, and then they've got big feet and big, strong legs, okay? So what we're going to do is this. We're going to have bunny rabbit arms, and I want you to bring your legs out, okay, like so, okay? All right? So bringing our legs out like so, moving like a... T-Rex, okay, all right. Now, who can tell me what noise a T-Rex makes? Yeah, that's right. Rawr! Okay, all right. So what I want you to do, you're going to move around like a T-Rex, make the noise of the T-Rex, okay? Rawr! Okay, so I'm ready. So bunny rabbit ears, that's it. Legs out. Rawr! Rawr! That's it, guys. Rawr! Rah, moving around your room, that's it. Rah, 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 rah. That's it. Can we stomp them feet? That's it. Good. Oh, big heavy elephants, that's it. Rah, I can't hear you. Rah, rah, rah. And stop there. Good job, guys. Good job. Okay. Right. Now, the next one is going to be our Triceratops. Okay. All right. So, with this, we're going to do, we're going to use our hands. Okay. So, we're going to have hands up here and we're going to stick our nose out. Okay. All right. So, always stick your nose into the sky. Okay. Because now we have our three, okay, horns. Okay. So, our Two hands and our nose makes three, okay, all right? And they also have tiny legs too, okay? 
Um, so what we're going to do is this. We're just going to move around. Okay, we're going to duck down slightly because they're not the biggest of dinosaurs. So we're just ducking down like this and we're just moving. Okay, all right. Sticking our nose up. That's it, into the sky. Brilliant, hands on heads. Yeah, that's it. Make sure we got them three horns. Move around, not fast. That's it. Nice. Small feet, guys. That's it, good. You can make the roar sound if you like. Okay, rah. That's it. Triceratops are nice dinosaurs. The T Rex is the baddie one. That's it. Well done, guys. Brilliant. And stop there. Well done, my Triceratops. So, Triceratops. Three horns, two hands, and the nose. Good. Right. Now, we're going to move on to my favorite dinosaur which is the pterodactyl, okay? So we're gonna have our arms out this time, like an airplane, and we're gonna flap them wings like a bird, but then we're gonna scoop down to grab them fish, okay, all right? Uh, Cause that's what they like eating, mainly. Okay, all right, so we're going to flap the wings, guys, and then I want you to scoop down, grab the feet, grab the feet, grab the fish, good. Flying round. That's it, if you, you can make a noise of a pterodactyl, I don't know what noise they make. I assume it's like a bird sound. I don't know. I'm not very good at making sounds. You can make your own sound, you'll be better than me. That's it, just flap their wings, good. Scoop down and up. Can you go on them tiptoes, guys? On them tiptoes, flap their wings. Good, that's it, scoop down again. Nice, well done, guys. Perfect, brilliant, that's it. Good, and stop there. Right, so we have done three dinosaurs. We've got one left, and that's gonna be our Brontosaurus, okay? So with our Brontosaurus, remember we said they've got stumpy legs, and they move very slowly, okay, all right? Slowly. And they have a long tail and a long neck, okay? So what we're going to do is this. We're gonna have an arm in the sky as high as we can, and then our other arm is going to be out like this, because this is gonna be our tail. And our feet, we're gonna go very slowly, tiny feet, okay? Keeping that arm as straight as you can into the sky, tail behind you, the tail can move around, that's it, moving slowly. We might want to stomp our feet as well because they're big and heavy, that's it, they like eating plants, okay, and trees, the leaves off the trees, that's it, stomping, that's it, good, brilliant, wave that tail, move that tail around, keeping that other arm nice and straight, that's it. Stomp the feet, nice and slow. Perfect, guys. That's it, good. Wave that tail, brilliant. Good. Nice. And stop there, brilliant. Right, now what's going to happen is this, okay, all right? So, you guys, okay, are now ready for the next game. Now for this, I am gonna use my pictures and I'm gonna tilt the camera down a little bit now. And what's going to happen is this. You guys are gonna move around the hall, okay? And you can be any dinosaur, okay, you like. Okay, all right, any dinosaur you like, okay? Now when I shout go, okay, I want you to run, okay, to a corner, of your room, okay? Now, the corner of the room represents a different dinosaur, okay? And what I'm going to do is I'm gonna place the dinosaurs in the corners, okay, like so, to make a square. Okay, I'll tilt the camera again so you can see. There we go. Okay, so you can see that I have made a square. So the left-hand side of your room will be the T-Rex. The right-hand side will be the Triceratops. The back 
of your room will be the brontosaurus on the left hand side and the back of the right hand side of your room will be the pterodactyl so what you're going to do is this you're going to move around like any of the dinosaurs. You can stick to the same dinosaur or you can practice all four. It's entirely up to you, okay? When I shout go, you have five seconds to stand in the corner, okay? And what I want you to do is this, okay? If I shout a dinosaur, okay, all right, that you're stood in the corner of. So say if you run to the front, of your room to the left hand side then you will be a t-rex and if i say the t-rex then that means you would have been eaten and you would be out of the game but the good news is you'll be back in the next round okay all right so i'm ready so off you go moving round your room that's it move around like a dinosaur it could be any dinosaur it could be the t-rex Good. It could be the brontosaurus with the arm in the air and the tail. It could be the pterodactyl flying around. That's it. It could be the triceratops with the three horns. So just moving around your room. And when I shout the magic word, run to a corner of the room. Remember the front ones are here and the back of your room are here. Okay. So I'm ready. And go. Five, four, three, two, one, zero. Okay, so you should be in the corner of your room. Okay, all right. Now the front is the ones nearest to the camera. Okay, the back are the ones that are far away. Okay, so if you are on the right side of the front, which is the triceratops, that means you've been eaten. And that means you are out of the game. Oh, man. But the good news is you're back in the game now. Back in the game. Back in the game. Right, moving around. Moving around like a dinosaur. That's it. Rawr. Moving around, guys. Moving around. That's it. Good. Keep moving. Good. Five, four, three, two, one, zero. Good. Well done. In the corner of your room. Remember the front. Okay of the room is the ones closest to the camera. The ones at the back are the ones that are far away from the camera. So if you are on the left side of your room and at the back, which is the brontosaurus, then you've been eaten, even though they don't eat humans, okay? All right, but you've been eaten and you are out of the game. But the good news is you're back in the game. They're back in the game if you've been eaten, right? Okay, so moving around again, guys. Moving around, that's it. That's it, moving around, my little dinosaurs. Moving around, moving around. Good. Five, four, three, two, one, zero. Run to the corner of the room. That's it, guys. Brilliant. Good. Okay. Now, this time, I'm going to go to the front of the room, and it's going to be the left side again, and that is the T-Rex. So, if you're by the T-Rex at the front of the room on the left side, you've been eaten by the T-Rex. Oh, man. But you're back in the next round, okay? So, moving round again, guys. Moving round. That's it. Keep it going. Keep moving. Good. Well done. Perfect. Five, four, three, two, one, zero. And go to the corner of the room. That's it. Go to the corner of the room. This time, I'm going to go to the front of the room again. The front left, which is a T-Rex. Yes, you thought I was going to go to the pterodactyl. Yes, I know. But I've chosen the T-Rex, which means if you're by the T-Rex on the front of your room on the left side, then you've been eaten by the T-Rex. Oh, man. Okay, right, back in the game, guys. Moving around, my little dinosaurs. Moving around, that's it. Rawr, rawr. That's it, moving around, good. Keep going. I can't hear you. Bit louder, that's it, good. Five, four, three, two, one, zero. Good, well done, you should be in the corner of the room. This time I am going to go to the back on the right side, which is 
a pterodactyl. So if you're by the right side at the back of the room, the pterodactyl, then you have been eaten by the pterodactyl, okay, all right? But don't worry, because you're back in the game, right? And we're now ready to move on to our next part of the game because this time what's going to happen is this. I'm going to have the pictures in front of me now and I'm going to get closer to the camera and I'm going to tilt the camera up. If you need a quick drink, you can get one, okay, while I explain the next part of the game, okay? So, this game is a little bit like musical chairs or musical statues, I should say, really. Musical statues, okay? Okay, apart from we have no music, okay? But what we are gonna be is dinosaurs. So you're gonna move around again, guys, okay? You're gonna move around again. And the aim of the game is this, okay? When I do my countdown this time, instead of running to the corner of the room, you just have to stand still, freeze, Okay, all right, making the impression of the dinosaur. So let's just recap, guys. Let's just tilt it up so you can see. So if I was playing, I'm going to be moving around like any dinosaur, okay? And when I do five, four, three, two, one, I need to freeze, either like a T-Rex or my bunny rabbit ears, okay? All right, my bunny rabbit hands, okay, all right? Okay, standing like a T-Rex or like a Triceratops with my horns and stick my nose out or my Pterodactyl or my Brontosaurus with the long neck and the long tail, okay, all right? So you need to stand still. Then what's going to happen is this. I will show you one of the dinosaurs, okay? And if I show you the dinosaur that you've frozen to, so say I put up the pterodactyl and you're stood like the pterodactyl, that means you are the winner, okay, all right, and what's going to happen is this, okay, if you get to three points, and this is where I need your mommies and daddies help, okay, to remember, which they might struggle with, okay, but hopefully they'll be able to count to three, okay, all right, maybe you can help them children, okay, if you get to three then you are the overall winner. Maybe you can do this with your mommies and daddies. Get them playing as well, okay? All right? So, you're going to move around like any dinosaur that we practice, okay? When I do the countdown this time, don't run to the corner of the room. Just stand still and freeze like that dinosaur, okay? And if I put the dinosaur up, then you will get one point, okay? And when you get to three points, you will be the winner. So are we ready? Off we go. Moving round, my dinosaurs. Moving round your room. Move around, that's it. Make the noises of the dinosaurs. You can do any dinosaur you like. And when I do that countdown, you freeze and hold it. Do not move. Good. Five, four, three two, one, and zero. That's it, stand still, making sure you're doing your dinosaur impression. Okay, don't move though. So, if you are the Triceratops, then you get one point, guys, one point. Okay, remember, when you get to three points, you will be the winner. Okay, are we ready? Moving round again, my little dinosaurs. That's it, moving round. That's it, mommas and daddies. Make sure you remember how many points your child's on and how many points you're on. That's it, keep it going, good. Five, four, three, two, one, and zero. That's it, freeze like that dinosaur. Don't move, don't move. That's it, good, well done, don't move. Okay, if you are the Brontosaurus, the one with the long neck and the long tail, then you've got one point. So, who would like to tell me how many points you got? Zero, zero, anybody on one point? Anybody on one point, put your hand up if you're on one point. Okay, anybody on two points? Oh, yeah, a couple of people on two points. They've got their hands up. Oh, okay, they're only one point away from winning then. Okay, right, are we ready? And moving round, guys. That's it, my little dinosaurs, moving round. That's it. Hopefully, 
children, you're beating your mummies and daddies playing this game. Okay, that's it. I want them mummies and daddies up moving around like dinosaurs too. That's it. Come on, mummies and daddies moving around. You've got to play the game too. That's it. Five, four, three, two, one, and zero. Okay, that's it. Don't move, guys. Hold that dinosaur. If you are the T-Rex... You get one point, okay? A few people are on three. They've won, okay, well done. We're going to keep playing, though, for the ones that are not on three, okay? So keep moving. Keep moving round. Well done, guys. That's it. Keep moving. That's it. Good. Moving round, my little dinosaurs. Moving around. Moving around. Five, four, three, two, one, and zero. If you are... Don't move, don't move. If you are the pterodactyl, my favourite dinosaur, then you get one point, okay? Oh, we've got some more winners, okay? That's good. A few people still not on three yet, though, so we keep going. Okay, moving around, guys, moving around. Even if you've got three, you can still move around and see if you can be the dinosaurs that I'm going to pick. That's it, guys. Keep moving. Rawr. Well done. Moving round, moving round. Remember, you can change your dinosaurs. Five, four, three, two, one, zero. If you are the T-Rex, then you get one point. Okay. A, a few people still haven't won yet. Okay, all right, we've got a couple that have won again. Well done, brilliant. Right, keep moving then. We're going to go two more rounds, two more times. Okay, hopefully everyone would have won then. Keep going, guys, keep going. Good. Five, four, three, two, one, and zero. Okay, right. Here goes. The next dinosaur will be the Triceratops. Yes, the Triceratops. So if you have chosen to be the Triceratops frozen like this, yeah, with their nose pointing up and their hands as the horns as well, then you have got one point. Okay, a few people are close to getting three. Okay, we'll go one more time. Moving round, guys. Moving round. That's it. Moving round, my little dinosaurs. Good, good, brilliant. Five, four, three, two... One and zero. Okay, for the final time, if you are, hmm, let's see who we're gonna pick. Who we're gonna pick? Let's pick the Brontosaurus. Okay, if you've got that long neck and long tail, okay, then you have got the point. And hopefully, everybody that has played this game has managed to get three points to be the winner. If not, just play this video again and you know which dinosaurs I've said and then you'll be the winner, okay? Yeah, okay, all right? So good job, guys, good job. Now, we're gonna finish with another little game which you guys can play with your mummies and daddies, okay? Unfortunately, you can't play with me, guys, okay? Because for this, you will need a ball or a balloon, okay? And what's going to happen is this. We are gonna pretend to be the Triceratops. Now. We've already said the Triceratops has three horns, okay? So what they do when they battle, okay, is they use their horns to help them battle, okay, and fight. So what we're going to do with the ball is this. If I was playing, okay, and I'm at the top of the room, okay, my mummy and daddy will be at the bottom of the room like this, facing me like this, okay? And what we're going to do, children... Okay, is I want to see if you can push and hit the ball with your head. Okay, all right. So you're going to push and hit the ball with your head like this. Now, as you can see, the ball rolled towards the camera, rolled towards you. Now, you're not allowed to use your hands, okay? You can only use your head. Now, what's going to happen is this. If I was to hit the ball with my head, then my mommy and daddy has to try and stop it with their head and then hit it back to me, okay? And then I would stop it with my head and hit it back to them. So you can either practice playing this game with a ball, okay? 
or a balloon. It's good with the balloon because if you hit it, the balloon flies into the sky as well, okay, all right? So that's another little game that you can play as well when this video has finished, okay, all right? So all you need is a ball or a balloon and hit that ball with the head to get it all balloon uh, over to your mommy's and daddy's side, okay, all right? So guys, that is the end of today's PE lesson. Okay, hopefully you have enjoyed it, okay? I have a little bit of sad news because I'm afraid this will be my last toddler uh, video for a while because obviously timetables have all changed. I know some of you are back at nursery and preschool, okay, all right? Um, and my timetable is a little bit more busier, so it's a bit more difficult to film um, the toddler PE lessons as well as the normal PE lessons and the other videos that I'm doing, okay, all right? So um, stay subscribed, guys, because you never know, I will be um, putting out some other videos, but they won't be every day, okay, like I have been, okay, all right? But anyway, hopefully you've enjoyed the videos that I have put out, uh, and you can always just go back and um, play them again, okay, and do them again, and yes, so take care guys stay safe if you have enjoyed today's video don't forget to push that like button and don't forget to push the subscribe button if you haven't done so already take care stay safe bye guys bye bye high five me high five yeah bye 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 <laughs>